DAV encourages you to vote and actively support candidates of your choice. But as a DAV member, you have the responsibility to ensure your activities as a private citizen do not give the appearance that the organization supports or opposes any political candidate. Doing so would violate our congressional charter, national constitution and bylaws, and the law and regulations governing DAV's tax-exempt status. It's important to know the do's and don'ts during election season. So, let's take a quick look. First, do get involved. Whether it's political campaigns, rallies, forums, or town hall meetings, it's your right as an American citizen to support the candidate of your choice. But, do not support a candidate or attend political events in support of a candidate in the name of DAV. Keep in mind that wearing DAV's caps and shirts at a political event can give the impression that DAV supports a particular candidate, which is a no-no. Second, do hold forums and town hall meetings so candidates can discuss their positions on issues affecting disabled veterans, their families, and survivors. But do not forget to invite all candidates to these events and make reasonable attempts to accommodate their schedules. Candidates do not have to accept the invitation or attend for you to hold the event, nor do they have to appear on the same day or at the same time. They do, however, have to be invited. And last, do make candidates aware of the issues facing wounded, injured, and ill veterans, their families, and survivors. Review DAV's national resolutions to ensure your position is in line with DAV when speaking on behalf of the organization. Do not forget that while DAV provides services to all veterans, our legislative goals focus on the betterment of wartime disabled veterans, their families, and survivors. And now you know. Get involved, spread the word, and responsibly exercise your rights.